facial hair. You just, uh, like us, you just came in from New York, right? I did, I did. I've, uh, I've been in New York for the last couple of weeks working with Ava DuVernay. Oh, She's doing wow. this, uh, this project with Netflix, the Central Park Five. Oh, so I've who been... do you play in that? Uh, it's a guy named Antron McRae, and okay. he was one of the five. Uh, one young, of the five. Young gentlemen who were. Is that to look like it? Do you try to look like the guy? Yeah, I try my best. You yeah. know, every time you get an opportunity to kind of transform into a part, you know, it's, I try to take advantage of it when I can. Uh-huh. And what do you do to transform into a part? Well, for this one in particular, I met with Ava earlier in the year, and she told me that she wanted me to put on some weight. Uh-huh. And so I was like, okay, so what kind of weight? She was like, you know, the guy, the real guy, he's really muscular. So she just wanted me to put on a couple, you know, a couple pounds and stay in the gym. So that's what I did. Now, I have to say, this idea of, of being asked to gain weight is very appealing to me. Absolutely. It really is. It's the best part. It's How do you do part. it? What do you have to do? Is it fun, or do you do it with, like, shakes or it's, something? It's incredibly fun for me, anyway. Yeah. So I was in Columbia during the summer. I was working on, a, on the second season of Jack Ryan. So when I got out there, Basically, all I was doing is I was working out six times a week, six days a week, and just eating, like, full rotisserie chickens and just massive steaks, like, every day. Yeah. That was Can like... I tell you something? I, uh, I never hesitate to eat a full rotisserie <laughs> chicken. As you should. I thought that was being healthy. I didn't know that. <laughs> Interesting. That's fascinating. Okay, so only eat part of the chicken. Okay. <laughs> so you wake up in the morning, and what would you have? How so, do you start? Like, how do you have, what's breakfast? So, actually, there's this dish that I discovered while I was in Colombia, and it's called, uh, forgive me if I'm saying it incorrectly, calentado. And what it is, is uh, it's like a, hey, yeah, <laughs> they know what's up. So, it's like a, it's a rice dish. Uh -huh. and they put, like, a fried egg over it, and it has, like, sausage and plantain and things like that. Yeah. And one of my castmates, Victor Rasuk, him and his wife were eating it. And it's a dish for two. And I didn't realize that when they asked me to try it. I'd woken up one day, and I was like, oh, you know, what is that? And she was like, try it. And so I tried it, and I fell in love with it. And so I was like, okay, this is just going to be my breakfast every day for three months, eating, like, a course for two by myself. Yeah, yeah, I do that now, yeah. Um, <laughs> and how many, how many pounds did you gain? Uh, so I'm normally at, like, 180. Uh -huh. I'm at 215 right now. 215. <clears throat> and so <clears throat> when people see you, like, who might not know what you're up to, are they polite? Is it weird? Do they say anything? It's kind of like a shocking experience. Uh -huh. So I had, I had to go to Austin to do a premiere for Overlord. It was like a festival, and um, my agent and my publicist were there, and they were waiting for me to get to the hotel, and I came out. I had, like, a T-shirt and a hat on, and I got in the car, and my agent was just like, oh! And she looked, and she was like, oh, Javon, oh! I didn't, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> my, my publicist was like, holy... <laughs> you got so big. And do you take that as a compliment? <laughs> uh, I mean, it depends what kind of big she's talking about. I mean, I like to think that I put on some muscle, but, you know, all yeah, this kind of Yeah, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first starring role, Overlord, right? Mm -hmm. Explain what the movie's about, because this is an interesting uh, mesh of two things. Yeah, so it's basically about a group of uh, American paratroopers who they have this mission that they're supposed to go into this small village in France and basically take out the German soldiers that are that are staying there and kind of working on experiments on the people there and, and uh... Zombie friends. experiments. Uh, yes? It's a little complicated, something like that. Oh, it's more complicated than zombies. Hard to explain. So you can't just hit them with a baseball bat and then that's it. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Nazis, on top of being Nazis, are now also making some sort of a zombie creature. Yes. Oh, they're the worst, aren't they? They are... <laughs> Do you ever actually get scared, uh, like, making a movie that has, is a scary movie? Is there ever any f actual fear? Well, this is, this is my first one, so I, I guess I just... Oh. I didn't really know, like, what the protocol is, but I messed up by telling everyone the first day on set that I'm really gullible. So all they did was they just found opportunities to expose that. I see. So, you know, there's... Without... For the sake of not ruining the film, there's, like, this, this moment where they have, like, this little pool of, like, different limbs, like, body, you know, body parts. And I'm sitting there getting ready for the scene. I'm You're eating them? Julius. No. <laughs> I didn't know how far this rotisserie chicken thing went. It's, it's an obsession now, at this point. And uh, I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm sitting on top of the water, and one of the guys makes, like, the toe move, like, in the pool. And this is before the cameras are up, and I'm like, and I jump, and I look at the director, and I'm like, you see that? And he's like, no, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, nothing. And they kept doing that, like, the entire time until I... Until I caught on. It took me longer than I want to admit. But... <laughs> Dude, when you're playing military, did you go to... Did you guys have, like, a, um, one of those movie boot camp deals? We did. And 
We did it. Uh, we tried to make it as similar as like the Save It Private Ryan and Banner Brothers. I mean, they did like two to three weeks. We did like a week. And it was cool. We had this guy's name's uh, Freddie Farnsworth. He takes it very seriously. Freddie seriously. Farnsworth? Freddie Farnsworth. That's a good name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as serious as you're supposed to to get like actors into military shape. Oh, is so. he like the drill sergeant? Yeah. And <clears throat> it was so intimidating when we first met him. And in every group, there's a wise guy. So we had a couple guys in our cast. Uh, Hate to name drop, but John Magaro and Ian DeCastiger. They're Sorry. the wise guys? Wise guys. We're yeah. meeting Freddie for the first time, and you know, you want to show, give him the respect he deserves, because he's going to put us to work. And I think it was John that made some type of joke, and Freddie's like, oh, you're the funny guy. Yeah, you don't want to be the funny guy. <laughs> in the... Anyone who's ever seen any movie about the military knows you don't want to be the funny guy. You would think that. Yeah, but it, he thought he would be the funny. And then did Freddie punish the funny guy? He punished all of us. Oh, he did, yeah. Because of the funny guy, except for uh, my, one of my castmates, Wyatt Russell, who's Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn's son. Yeah. Uh, he did not get punished? Not as much, because I think Freddie was just such a, such a huge fan of Kurt's. <laughs> that, that kind of, that Wyatt kind of, you know, like wow. maybe doing push-ups or whatever, you know, exercise and, like, okay, example, we'd be doing like a weapons, you know, magazine changes or what have you, and he would be explaining it, and he would go, yeah, yeah, I know Wyatt knows how to... How to, how to change magazines because his dad, you know, greatest American actor ever. <coughs> and I'd be like, this is <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes you mad at your own family, right? Yeah. Well, it's, it's good crazy. to know nepotism is alive and well in the pretend movie military. Quiet. Yeah. What's up, man? Uh, congratulations on this big starring role. It's called Overlord. It opens in theaters on November 9th. Giovanna Depo, everybody. Thank you, Giovanna. Thanks for watching, and remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.